Hey there Facebook, it is Vanessa here again, your motivational speaker, trainer and head coach from Live Love Give. And today's message is all about self-doubt and overcoming it through action. <clears throat> and the title for today's video is Self-Doubt Resides in the State of Inaction. Stop waiting for things to be perfect and absolutely go for it. And you guys who've been following me for a while would know that I'm always, always, always saying that inaction breeds fear and doubt and taking action breeds confidence and courage. And that's why I'm a big believer in generating the momentum. In the moment of decision, go for it. Don't let your overthinking brain take over and put you in a state of fear. Whenever you are experiencing confusion of any kind, remind yourself that confusion is simply your overthinking mind trying to outbattle your internal wisdom and your intuition, your internal wisdom is momentary. You get that right then, right there. You've got to go for it. And I want this message to resonate with each and every one of you guys out there who particularly, you know, you know you have more to give in some area or there's something that you know you're called to do or you know is truly your most empowering path, but you've been holding back and you've been getting trapped in the state of inaction. And ultimately, I'm hoping that today's message is the wake up call that you need to say, no, enough. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to get out of my own way. I'm going to stop overthinking this and overanalyzing this. And I am going to trust what I know to be the right move, but I've been maybe too scared to do. Enough is enough. I don't need to wait for things to be perfect. I'm going to go for it right now. And I really want you guys to really think about this. I was just talking to an incredible client of mine um, who has been doing some incredible stuff um, just in the last week, just in between sessions, and uh, really, you know, accepted a challenge that I put out to him that was really, really scary at the time. Like he was really, he was kind of terrified at the time when he accepted the challenge and he went for it. And that's what, what it's all about because over this last week, he has made some of the most empowering decisions of his life um, that have transformed who he used to be and the decisions that he would make um, just by making a commitment and following through on something that's empowering to him and that's going to generate his pathway to giving back and really contributing to others. And ultimately, it has put him in such a powerful position because we don't take action in the direction of what matters most to us because we are not trusting ourselves, we're not respecting ourselves, and we're not valuing ourselves. The quickest pathway to build trust, value, and respect for yourself is to have a commitment, set a commitment, and follow through, stay true to your word despite your fears, despite the distractions that come past you, despite, you know, those things that, you know, kind of look enticing and could get you over the line to go back to a path that you've, you've run a few times before, but you don't because you've made a commitment to yourself and you stay true to your word. There is nothing more empowering and more momentum building than actually following through on your word and your commitment to yourself. Because when you trust yourself, because you follow through on your word, Ultimately, you believe in yourself. And when you have belief in yourself, you will do things that your past self wouldn't have even attempted because you wouldn't have even believed that you could achieve the result that you're after and you wouldn't trust that you'd follow through anyway. So that is really what I wanted to talk to you guys about today. I want to definitely, if you have any questions, comments, feedback, any of it, chuck it in the comment section below. I'd love to engage with you. But really, I want you guys to wake up, stop overthinking things in the moment that you get that intuitive response, that internal wisdom that's like, oh, I know what's most empowering. I know what would be way more exciting. But then you keep yourself limited and stuck because A, you're not trusting in yourself. B, you don't think you're going to get the result. And C, you think it's going to be too painful going on that journey. Before you go down that route, I want you to act. I want you to act even though it's scary, even though things aren't perfect, even though you haven't got it all together yet, 
You know, you are on a journey and you're never going to get off this journey. And this amazing client of mine, you know, sort of brought that up in terms of, you know, do you think I'm ready for this? You know, do you think that, you know, maybe I, I have to get, I have to be over with this, this journey. And I said to him, you know, the only time you're going to be over this journey is when you die and you're gone. So don't forget that. You're constantly on a growth journey. There is always going to be a new level of development and growth for you. Stop waiting to be perfect. You're never going to get there. And it's just an excuse to play small and stay small. So get out of your own way. Own what it is that inspires you, what's scary to you, what terrifies you, but you know if you do it, you would be so proud of yourself and I want you to go ahead and go and do it. So that's really what I wanted to talk into with you guys today. Just had that moment of inspiration with that amazing client and um, definitely guys, chuck any of your, say hi to me because I can't see you guys anymore. So um, say hi, I'd love to say hi to you. And, um, and if you have any questions, make sure you drop them below. And if you haven't already, what are you doing? Come on over and join us at the in the Limitless Potential Inner Circle Facebook community. We would love to support, encourage, and challenge you to get to your next level and up uh, with whatever challenge you're currently going through and whatever limitation you're currently faced with. Get yourself in that group. Let us know what you're going through, how we can best support you so you get surrounded by like minds who are gonna help you in that progression path. So. I have got Frank and Christelle and uh, Vanessa and um, Aiden and Corey and Befera and Judy and uh, Kaden and Coopers and Rava and Maha and Jason's here and Leroy and Jamie and uh, Letty. Awesome to see you. And Ramon and Francesca and Tumas and Mo and, uh, oh, sorry, I can't read. Uh, you're Italian there, um, Befera, but um, awesome to have you. And uh, Roxana's back. Lovely to see you. And uh, Leroy, today's another step towards the unknown. Fear is dead because I killed him in, uh, and I'm in control of my thoughts. I forge my path. Awesome and so empowering there, Leroy. Love hearing that. And uh, and Jason and Logan and um, Ramon. We are going to grow only if we do it. Absolutely. You've got to spring into action and go for it. Remember, you know, I always remind myself that whenever I'm in fear and doubt, it's because I'm not taking action. And if I want to generate confidence and courage, I've got to get into action. Just take this, the first step. You don't have to overwhelm yourself with the best way and the most way to do it, the biggest way to do it, you can just take a baby step. It is about staying true to your word. So make it easily attainable for yourself. And as you go on the journey, you are going to build much more trust within yourself so that you can ultimately do bigger things and, uh, and definitely follow through. It's all about generating confidence and courage so we no longer play small and keep ourselves limited. Um, and um, Dalio, thanks for being here. And Julie and Kaden, such excellent insight as always. Um, you're so beautiful and appearing. Oh, thank you. And your natural element of encouragement and sharing your wisdom. I don't doubt you for half a second and you've helped me trust my authenticity more than anyone else. Wow, love and freedom back to you always. Kaden, you always have, have a funny way of touching my heart so thank you so much for those kind words and it has been such an honor to know you and uh, connect with you and I love that you have tapped more fully into trusting your authenticity that is foundational you know until we get to that place of authenticity and trusting and aligning with that everything feels off and we always feel like we're on this constant cycle and never really tapping into true fulfillment. So I love that. And um, I love that you've managed to bring today's topic back to my favorite topic, authenticity, as always, Caden. Thank you so much. And uh, Melanie's here. Awesome to see you. And Dennis, thanks for your, you're so, so welcome, Dennis. And thank you for being here. And uh, Belinda, awesome to see you. And uh, Dajmal, um, you're so welcome. And uh, Letty, uh, thanks for the small steps, but keep going. Absolutely. You know, when I shifted my mindset from, 
you know, gotta have it all yesterday to a long-term consistency, that's where things started taking off in all areas of my life, you know? Stop overwhelming yourself um, where you can't remain consistent and then you just get defeated because you don't follow through on your word and, and chunk it down to small, consistent, daily things that you can easily attain at some point and stay true to your word, that is what the aim of the game is. That is going to help you build your self-esteem, your trust, your value, your worth, all of those great things that ultimately allow you to access a new level of your potential. Um, so that's awesome, Letty, and Don's here. Awesome, and Frank, not able to apply this in all areas of my life. I'm very self-sabotaging. So Frank, you know, first step is always self-awareness. So notice, you know, why are you sabotaging yourself? What are you doing? And, um, you know, you've got to go ahead and uncover what those limiting beliefs are because I'm always saying to you guys that it is our conscious mind that is the goal setter. You know, we say we want to attain something, but it's the subconscious mind that's the goal getter. So whatever's going on in your subconscious, that's where all of our fears, limitations reside. When we don't bring them up to the conscious level, they're actually dictating our results. That's where self-sabotage comes from. It's that inner conflict between the conscious mind saying out here what it wants to attain and what's really going on internally. So I would ask yourself, Frank, what is it that you want to achieve? And pick an area that you, uh, that you tend to self-sabotage yourself. Ask yourself, what do I want to achieve? Why do I want to achieve it? Come up with at least 10 reasons why. And then ask yourself, why don't I really want to achieve this result? And come up again with at least 10, if not more. Push yourself. Whenever you say, I don't know why else I wouldn't want to, keep asking yourself, well, if I did know, why else wouldn't I want to actually attain this result? That's where you bring up all those fears and limitations that are residing under the surface that you're not consciously aware of. You bring them up to the surface and that's where you can actually deal with them. That's when you can shine light on your fears, which automatically allows them to dissipate. And then, then what you can do is do the turnaround. So this is a part where you kind of become your own coach and you look at that reason why you don't really want to attain the result that you're after that you've just brought out from the subconscious and you do the turnaround. Well, why is that absolute BS, you know? Why why is that not right? Why is that not true? And choose a more empowering belief. There's a whole process around that. If you'd like some personal guidance on that, um, Oh, I don't have any 15 minute power sessions left at the moment. Um, so they're gonna be coming back probably towards the end of December. Um, but send me a message if I can support or help you um, in any way there, Frank. And um, always appreciate you sharing your experience here. And Belinda, have confidence and courage so we don't play small, brilliant. Absolutely, yes. And uh, you build and generate that confidence and courage through taking action. Love having you here, Belinda. And uh, Kelly and Dustin, hello to you. And Tumas, Vanessa, nice to see you again. Self-doubt um, was a big problem in my life. Now I'm rising from the ashes. It's good to be confident and teach it to others. Absolutely, Tumas. And that is, that's really the purpose of life, is growing and giving, you know, growing past our challenges, generating confidence and giving that back to others, helping them to fast track their success. So I love that you're on that journey too, Miss. Awesome. And uh, Jason, thanks for being here. And uh, Mujasa, you're so, so welcome. I appreciate you being here and grateful that you're finding these valuable. And uh, Dustin, it's great to hear your wonderful wisdom. Oh, thank you so much for those kind words, Dustin. And it's always great seeing you join me live. And Marcus is here and Letty. Oh, thank you for your kind words. And I love that you're from South Africa, a place that I really want to get to. And uh, Thomas is here, thanks for joining. And Caden, such a pleasure getting to know you. You've helped me through the hardest year I can remember. I'm always looking forward to what 2018 has in store. Oh, Caden, again, thank you so much. Um, that really warms my heart to know that uh, there's been of some value um, that has been shared to you um, from this stuff that I'm doing. So thank you so much, Caden, and you are so appreciated. And I am super excited about what 2018 brings for you as well. I'm feeling really good about 2018. I don't know what's coming, but it feels really good. And uh, Lake is here, and uh, Jason, I'm getting a lot of Jasons today. Thank you for being here, guys. 
and uh, Richard and Lena. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm really hoping that today's message revved you guys up and ultimately you are not going to let self-doubt stay keep you stuck and playing small recognize whenever you are in doubt it is because you're not taking enough action and whenever you are operating in confusion remember it's your overthinking mind trying to out battle your internal wisdom so you've got to whenever you get that moment of inspiration that moment of tapping into your intuition you've got to keep going it's it's instantaneous you know the truth comes instantaneously and then our overthinking brain keeps us stuck and limited and confused and doubting and all of that stuff so know that tap into your inspiration your internal wisdom generate momentum by taking action ASAP and keep going um, and um, you guys all I know you have so much to give so much to share no more holding back uh, you know the world needs you to bring your genius to bring your gifts so stop robbing us of that value. And I've got uh, Lena and Jeannie. Awesome to see you. And um, Jamal, oh, thank you for your kind words. And Jared's here. And uh, Queen Mooden, thank you for being here. And uh, Melissa and Tuma, self-confidence is the best accessory in a woman's handbag. Love it, Tuma. It's awesome, awesome. And, uh, and Jeannie, um, know who you are and go for it. Absa. Absolutely. You're speaking my language. And uh, guys, I am sending you all of my love, light, blessings, gratitude, energy, enthusiasm, everything extraordinary coming to you to wherever you are in the world today. I hope you're having an extraordinary day and um, I cannot wait to see you guys tomorrow. If you have any questions, comments, any of it, drop me a comment or shoot me a message. I'd love to hear from you. And definitely, before I sign off, if you haven't already, you have to come on over and join us in the Limitless Potential Inner Circle Facebook community. We're waiting for you. We want to connect and go deeper with you. So on that note, I'm sending you all of my love and I will see you guys tomorrow.